Hello and welcome back to another episode of Casey Reviews. Because it seems like we're doing like four of these a day now. Uh, but let's dig into this one. I'm actually not sure which one this one is, but <laughs> you guys already do because you guys saw the title. So let's get this one open. And here we go. It's the Lost World Allosaurus who has so much dino damage, it's probably dead. <laughs> But this came with the medical operation set for the Lost World in 1997. And this is a dinosaur I've actually never seen in person. So that's super cool. Uh, I've only actually seen pictures of it. Very little reviews. Um, I think I've seen it like twice. I've seen it on eBay a ton. But it's always been so expensive. So when I saw this one for almost dirt cheap, I was like, nah, I'm going to get that. And I did. It's super cool. Uh, the head sculpt, as far as, like, accuracy for real dinosaurs, pretty good. Oh, you can see it definitely looks like an Allosaurus. Um, maybe a little bit shrink wrapped for sure, if you can see the holes here. Uh, its mouth does open and close. You can see in that with a rather, ugh, a rather strong looking neck with a rather agile body. Now, the legs... As far as accuracy go for an actual Allosaurus, it seemed a bit thick. Um, Allosaurus were more of a plains dinosaur built on speed and able to hunt and cooperate in packs uh, to bring down sauropods. So that's why they kind of had this strange shaped head because they used it as an axe in a way. Look at this. Bam! Bam. Now, the dino damage... It is pretty tough to get off. Look, now it's it's dead. <laughs> if an Allosaurus looked like that, it it would be dead. Um, oh no, even more dead. So as you can see, it has multiple pieces that can come out. Uh, and like I said, they actually fit on pretty tightly. It's not the easiest to get out. Uh, definitely be dead though. <laughs> Uh, it's not the biggest of figures. Let me uh, put this back together and we'll show you. Now, here it is compared to the others. Uh, obviously, compared to the Thrasher. I think it's decent lengthwise. I feel like it should be a little bit bigger. Uh, yes, Allosaurus is usually about 26 feet. Um, but some larger specimens show that they could get up to 30-some feet long. And then you have... Uh, controversial as far as the placement of another one which would make it in the range of 40 45 feet so it should be a little bit bigger but as far as just a regular allosaurus fragilis i think it's pretty well sized um compared to at least the thrasher which like towers over it. but no i i really enjoy this figure uh this was when i was like ah do i get it do i not i've never seen it so i couldn't really appreciate it, it definitely looks nicer in person than the pictures give it justice for like it's a really well sculpted figure and i'm excited to compare it with new fallen kingdom allosaurus that's coming out uh hopefully it lives up to the expectation it'd be cool if they were similar size so we can definitely compare it that way but until next time uh is there anything that you want me to uh review and check out before fallen kingdom anything obviously you see my channel does a lot of reviews mainly around dinosaurs because i love them but if there's anything else, write it in the comments below. Let me know. Do you have this Allosaurus? Do you like this Allosaurus? What is the best Allosaurus for the Jurassic World? Some may say the Hasbro one. And not for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, the 2K9 one. But until next time, Cage Reviews, signing out.